Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. My name is Farha Alam and here we are discussing about the BI Publisher Data Model uh, in Oracle Fusion. Uh, and in this session, we are going to learn about the data set creation using SQL query. And in our previous session, we had seen the creation of data set using Query Builder. So the question comes, what is the difference between the query builder and the SQL query? So the difference between query builder and SQL query is, the, is query builder basically facilitate us or allow us, it uh, gives us the drag and drop facility. And so what we have to do in, in query builder, we just have to select our appropriate schema and based on the schema, we can select our database tables and from the selected database tables, we can select our desired columns. So we just uh, we just have to drag and drop the columns and behind the scene the SQL query has got automatically generated. We had seen this this scenario in our previous session. And in this session, we are going to create the data set using SQL query. So if we want to create our data set using SQL query is so we should have proper knowledge about the SQL queries like uh, what uh, table contain which information and uh, we should have proper knowledge of SQL queries uh, the database schemas the columns which table contains uh, what kind of columns and what uh, how to write the conditions how to filter the data and uh, all these things we should know while we are creating our uh, data set using SQL query so uh, let's go ahead and create our data set using the SQL query. So we just have to move on to our instance and see how do we do that. So here right now I am in my fusion instance home page. So I just have to reach out to my BI server and navigation I hope is clear to you all. How do we reach out to there? And we just have to click on this browse catalog option. Then we'll redirect to BI server. So here, I have told you that there is a separate object available for the creation of data model. So when uh, we click on this create option, so here is an option called data model, click on it and then we have to click on this new data set option and select SQL query. And here we have to provide the name for our data set as assignment info the name for my data set and here we have to select the source as right now I am going to write the SQL query so my uh, data source is going to be application database underscore HCM stands for human capital management and here we have to write our SQL query so for time being I have already prepared uh, some queries and these are basically uh, the few of the tables which I have mentioned over here like for all people have we should have knowledge of, of all these tables. So let's uh, run this particular query which is I'm going to explain you this one as well. So here just copy it. Select uh, asterisk from per all assignments F. So basically select is the keyword which is going to select asterisk means all the data from where from this particular table. This is basically the table name. So it will going to display uh, all the data from this particular table. So click on OK. So here we can see our query has been successfully executed when I click on view data so that I will be able to see some data for this one. So here we can see the data as well and I click on the table view so we will see 
a table view information okay so this is basically all the information which this particular table contains but what i want i don't want to see all the columns uh, from this table i want to uh, see a few of them few columns so how do we do that so we just have to provide the proper column names over here here what i will do i will going to select the assignment number effective start date effective end date assignment type action code assignment name legislation code and system person type these are basically the columns or attributes and from which table i am going to fetch all these from this particular table which is per all assignments f so we will be able to see only these columns click on ok here we can see and then we have to click on view data and then view so here we can see only uh, this much information like action code assignment name assignment number type effective start date end date legislation code and system person type what is the uh, type uh, system person type for the assignment so this is basically the table view and if we want to see more number of rows we just have to uh, select the number of rows and we then we have to click on this view option then we will be able to see uh, the particular number of rows we have provided over here next one more thing i want to show you okay so this is basically how we can uh, create our data set using sql query when i click on view so this is basically uh, the creation of data set using sql query now uh, in my previous session i forgot to tell you how do we save this one so we just have to click on this save option and when i click on this option it will ask me for the location where do we where do you want to save this particular data model so i want to save it under shared folder basically it is the recommended location to uh, save uh, whatever you are going to create you must save it under custom folder so under custom i have created my own folder which is this one my data one and i have to provide the name for this data model assignment uh, and dm dm stands for data model and then click on ok so here we can see our data model has been saved with this name let's go back to the catalog let's save it once again okay go back to the catalog leave the page whether this data model has been saved or not so here we can see that our data model has been saved on the at the specified location where i have saved this under uh, shared folder under custom and my data one is my own folder in which where i have saved this data model and when i click on edit so it will open this particular data model in the edit mode and we can perform some later task in it and this is uh, basically uh, the creation of data set using sql query and all about our today's session if you have any question regarding this please uh, reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com or www.bisptrainings.com and we'll continue in our upcoming sessions. Thank you, everyone.